Hello everyone, this is Jozef Nagy here and welcome to this fourth edition of the 2022 uh, CFD Summer Series, which is also the last video. And here I would like to talk about something that I think is very cool. Mostly I think it is very cool because I am project, project lead in this pro Austrian uh, research project called ARES, called Aneurysm Risk Estimation Support, where open foam is an intrinsic part. You, can, uh, you could say uh, uh, like the, the brain of a uh, human in side of this project so um, i'm very excited uh, to uh, talk a little bit about this and so these are the partners myself eularian solutions that university institute of polymer product engineering risk software gmbh as well as the physicians at the kepler university university's clinicum are part of this project now i don't want to uh, talk a, a, more, a lot about um, the project itself with uh, this we want to establish a software suite with which we can estimate aneurysm rupture risk and we uh, our um, example is the complete blood count blood count a hemogram where you have a list of numbers of measured data in the lab and you have a, a certain confidence interval which is normal and if it is outside then a, a physician can uh, decide uh, on how to progress with the treatment of a patient. So we want to do exactly this, just we don't want to measure things in a lab. We want to measure character characteristic parameters of aneurysms in simulations. Uh, so geometrical, so-called morphological parameters, hemodynamics or fluid dynamic parameters and structural mechanical uh, parameters. And for that, our partners at Risk Software GmbH are developing a full GUI for that, for segmentation, user input and visualization of the results. And what I am responsible for is the fluid structure interaction simulations um, with open foam with an adapted and improved solids for foam library. It is a very cool thing. And so what we want to, so this, these are first screenshots of uh, pre alpha release of our software. So where we can go from an uh, 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 medical imaging data where you can see here is the aneurysm, this was a small thing, to the results where we can visualize uh, these characteristic values. For example, here the oscillating shear index in that small aneurysm. And here you can see the idea what we want to do with this blood count as example that we want to have a list of uh, characteristic, par par characteristic parameters with mean and max values and then what we measure in our simulations and then is it inside of a confidence interval or outside and with that physicians can hopefully in upcoming years then decide on the treatment of a patient with an aneurysm yeah so uh, we want to run these measurements um, uh, on hun within the project on hundreds of aneurysms make a uh, statistical evaluation and then um, make a statistical difference between ruptured and unruptured aneurysms and then it set up this confidence interval statistically. So we want to be able to uh, first qualitatively visualize the behavior of these aneurysms but also what we plan to do is to be able to uh, click through uh, older simulations data so if a patient goes for for years and years and years and the physicians do these kinds of simulations every year and then after five years the physician will have five steps and then he can or she can uh, click through the, the de development of an aneurysm over the years and then visualize the fluid dynamic structural mechanics pa parameters as well as these parameters and then see how the aneurysm is changing over time or not changing over time and also with the quantitatively we want to do this um, example of the uh, blood count um, and with our own parameters to have a quantitative definition of the behavior of an aneurysm and then physicians can take that and then make decisions based upon this um, 
tool or, or software sheet. And so, so this uh, project is um, uh, na uh, nationally funded project and actually it is a, a, a local, pro no, not just a national, it is uh, funded by the upper Austrian government. So it is a local project and upper vision 2030. So if you are interested in this project, then I would like to draw your attention to LinkedIn. I hope you know LinkedIn and you are linked uh, and you, you are following me on LinkedIn. If not, then go there and fo follow me. And if you're interested in this project, I set up a pro uh, project page here. If you search for Ares aneurysm risk estimation support you can click it then please make sure to follow it it would help out a lot if you could follow it and then uh, if you click on it then you can see um, posts so for example i posted uh, about our kickoff meeting of the project consortium but I will soon upload this set of slides also to this channel and I want to uh, and we want to um, upload highlights in our journey throughout the project which started in April and it will last two and a half years so if you want to know more about our journey with the software suite then please just follow us on LinkedIn and we will inform you. So with that I would like to thank you for watching and listening and I hope to see you next time.